Welcome to Buffalo Kickoff Live. It is game day, Bills fans. The Bills taking on the Ravens, the playoff game, coming up tonight at 8.15. I'm Josh Reed alongside Thad Brown, Matt Perino from Syracuse.com. Back in the studio, we have Heather Prusak and Tim Graham from The Athletic, Sal Capaccio from WGR 550. He'll be joining us as well a little bit later on in the show. All eyes are going to be on two of the top young quarterbacks in the league, of course, Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson. Let's talk about Josh first and how he kind of matches up with this Ravens defense, which is going to bring a lot of pressure. Yeah, we talked about the Ravens a lot last night and really throughout the week, how this Ravens team is a heavy blitz scheme. They're going to attack the quarterback and get after Josh Allen. And we did, look, people have talked about how good the corners are. It's Marlon Humphrey who went to the Pro Bowl this year, Marcus Peters, and then the third corner is Jimmy Smith, who has played at an elite level for a long time. Even when the ball does come out, when the quarterback is able to get a pass away, this Ravens defense is very good. Good. Second in the NFL in yards per attempt allowed. So it's not just the fact of the Bills protecting against the blitz and Josh being able to get a pass away. It's about these receivers getting open. We know how good the Bills receivers are, but it will be a great matchup and a fun battle. This is not going to be Stephon Diggs and Cole Beasley running free all day long. They will be checked pretty well by this Ravens secondary. Before the game starts, there's going to be a coin toss. You say that that's going to be really important, the decision that the Bills make if they win the toss to take the ball or to defer to the second half. They've been deferring a lot this season, and rightfully so. When you have this kind of offense, you want to maybe build some momentum with your defense. But here's a stat for you. Lamar Jackson is 1-7 in, in his career when he goes into the third quarter with a deficit. So if the Bills can get out to a lead in the first 30 minutes, I feel like it's going to force this Baltimore offense to up their passing attack, and that's where they can kind of get into trouble. We know about this secondary, secondary for the Bills. Tredavious White, Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer. The more Lamar Jackson has to throw, the more chance for turnovers. How deep do we dig on Buffalo Kickoff Live? We have coin toss stats for you. <laughs> hey, look, Lamar Jackson, you know, we, we talk a lot about, you know, try defenses trying to turn playmakers into one-dimensional quarterbacks, right? Lamar Jackson enters the game as a one-dimensional quarterback. Look, He's going to try to run the ball, and that's when he is at his best. Yeah, and we're going to hear a little later on from Jeff Zriebeck, who works for The Athletic in Baltimore, about how this offense has changed and developed through the season. And what they've done lately is really concentrate on going back to their roots a little bit and emphasizing and embracing the idea that we're a run first team. We don't care it's the 21st century and no one does it anymore. That's how we move the ball. They've been very good doing it lately. Yeah, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, first round picks in 2018. They'll always be linked by that. And you can tell there's a healthy amount of respect between these two players. I root heavily for him, just knowing what he went through his, his first year and um, how he's been able to do it and how humble and how awesome he is off the field. Uh, he's just one of those guys you root for and um, it's hard to not root for him when you're playing against him, but, uh, you know, uh, we're enemies on Saturday, and uh, we both know that. You know, people always just talking about Josh and, you know, his, his big arm, but, you know, he, he, he doing it all out there. You know, he, he's getting out the pocket, um, you know, taking advantage of what the defense gives him, um, throwing the ball on the rope. Um, and he's just he's slinging the ball, you know, uh, like a patch of Mahomes, you know, and he's just helping his team out a lot. You know, he, he's a key one of the key reasons, you know, they putting up so many points and um, winning games. Hearing Josh Allen talk about Lamar Jackson, it almost sounds like he's talking about himself because he talks a little bit about having to overcome a lot in his first season, kind of proving the doubters wrong. So. It, it's kind of interesting. You heard it right there, though. A lot of respect between those two players. We're going to head back to the studio now. Heather and Tim with more. You know, Tim, we talk so much about Lamar Jackson as a runner because it's such a big strength of his. He's so dangerous when he gets outside of the pocket, making things happen with his legs. That mobility is something the Bills are going to have to limit. But let's talk about Lamar Jackson as a passer because the top receiving threat that the Bills are going to have to account for, they've got to know where tight end Mark Andrews is at all times because this Bills defense has struggled to defend tight ends this season. I mean, you look no further than last week's game against the Colts. Their tight ends had a combined 14 catches for 136 yards, a touchdown, and a two-point conversion. I mean, we've seen some tight ends this season have some really big games against the Bills. Yeah, and I think that the Baltimore Ravens can look at what the Bills did last week, how they defended. Uh, of course, the Colts, you know, had a little bit of a different uh, ground attack, but still a run-based 
offense in which the tight end had a lot of production. Jack Doyle, seven catches, 70 yards, and a touchdown. Now, Mark Andrews has been contained by the Bills. His entire career spans when Sean McDermott has been the head coach of the Bills. They've played two games against uh, Mark Andrews, and the Bills have held him to four catches for 45 yards and no touchdowns in those two games combined. So they have been able to handle this in the past, but coming off last week's game, you have to, we have to wonder if the Bills have made the proper adjustments Put to make sure on that. that the tight ends don't get open today. Tonight, I should say. I'm not used to saying that. <laughs> no, especially when the key is going to be shutting down their ground attack there. If Lamar is forced to use his arm and get something going in the passing game, they have to limit the production of Mark Andrews here. Let me give you a stat. I saw this. 63.8% of the time, that's his first down rate. That's the amount of catches he has that results in a first down there. So he can be dangerous if he heats up in this game. So the Bills need to limit his production tonight. All right, before we hit the break, let's get to this week's poll question. We're asking you, what is the key to shutting down this Ravens offense as we were just talking about? Do you have to put a spy on Lamar Jackson, keep him out of, keep him in the pocket, or is it shutting down the running game and forcing them to throw? We're going to talk about this all show. You can vote now at WIVB.com, and we'll share the results for you at the very end of the show. Well, when we come back on Buffalo Kickoff Live, we've got a very special guest for our five questions segment this week. I had the chance to talk to Bill's owner and team president, Kim Pagula. Really fun five questions segment this week. Stick around. That's coming up next on BKL. When you or a loved one require extra assistance in your home, trust a provider that is known for their superior customer service. Trusted Choice Home Care. Trusted Choice Home Care works with Medicaid, allowing you to hire anyone you trust as your caregiver. Your caregiver receives a paycheck so they can take care of you without the fear of lost income. Trusted Choice Home Care makes managing your own care easy. They are there to answer all your questions every step of the way. Don't wait. Call Trusted Choice Home Care today at 427-5700. First three months, we saved forty-one hundred dollars. Car Shield saved me over six thousand dollars in engine repairs. If your car is out of warranty, you need to call Car Shield before an expensive breakdown. An engine, transmission, or computer system breakdown could cost you thousands of dollars, but not with Car Shield, America's number one car protection provider. Car Shield saved us four thousand dollars. They put a transmission in it and a motor. Who does that? Car Shield makes sure you don't have to pay for expensive car repairs. Car Shield covers most makes and models from 5,000 to 150,000 miles. We saved over $6,000 on a complete engine rebuild of our truck. It's like having a suit of armor around my car. You'll also receive at no extra cost roadside assistance, towing services, and rental coverage. If your car's out of warranty, believe me, you want to have car shield. Call now for a free and instant protection plan quote. Call 800-213-0458, 800-213-0458. Hey, Buffalo, I look forward to spending time with the best fans in the world. Watch the Drew Barrymore Show weekdays at 3 on Channel 4. And go Bills! Here at River Farm Auto Sales, we've been approving people for over four generations. Good credit, bad credit, no credit, no problem. Here at River Farm Auto Sales, we have 100% guaranteed credit approval. Hey, Martin, what do you think of this deal? I'm approving everybody, Papa, because I need new school supplies. And now we've made it even easier to find the one that's right for you. Here at River Farm Auto Sales, Penelope's throwing in $400 towards a game. Welcome back to Buffalo Kickoff Live. Every week, Heather Prusak catches up with one of the Bills players for five questions. But this is the playoffs, so it's time to bust out the big guns. Heather Prusak catches up with Bill's owner, Kim Pagula, for this week's Five Questions. So, Kim, do you have any pregame rituals or any superstitions when it comes to game day? Oh, I have a lot. So, let's see. Um, one that I've done ever since we own the team is I wear the same 
color combination as the team does. So if we're wearing, you know, white pants and blue jerseys, then I'm wearing white pants and a blue top. Um, you know, when it's, you know, when we're doing all red, I'm wearing all red or all blue. So no matter what it does, I, I kind of hook up with our equipment um, manager uh, at the beginning of the week and say, you know, well, how are we looking this week? And he gives me a heads up and then I, I can plan accordingly. So then I would say, Terry has a pair of lucky socks that he started wearing after the Arizona loss. And then we had a buy. And since then, they've been lucky. So I make sure that they are ready to go on game day. The same pair, um, home or away, doesn't matter. So, and uh, you know, they have to be washed every week. So I don't want anyone out there thinking like they're like this really bad smelly pair of socks. And then I always bake cookies and on home games. So Many people know I get really anxious for a game day. Um, and so cooking in the morning really actually helps relieve my anxiety. It gives me like my hands and something to do and the smell of, you know, fresh baked cookies just, you know, elevates my mood. So that's kind of mostly what my rituals and superstitions are. Kim, do you have any hidden talents? Oh my gosh. Um, so uh, let's see, do I have any hidden talents? So. I don't know if I can do it now. Back when I was much younger, I used to be able to say all the presidents by name, but we've gone through a several um, several presidents, so I don't I don't know if I can do that anymore. But other than that, I, I don't have any hidden talents. Um, I used to play the bassoon, which I don't know if any people know what a bassoon is. It's a wind instrument, but I used to play that in high school and in college, but I haven't played it since. So it's not, I don't have the talent for it anymore, but it's probably one of my lesser known things I've done in my life. Obviously, Kim, you've been all around the world. You've traveled so much. You've done so many things, but is there anything on your bucket list? And if so, what's at the top of it? Oh, you know what? I actually did my bucket list about a year and a half ago um, was when I went back to Korea. So I, you know, being adopted from there, hadn't been there since I arrived in this country when I was five years old. Um, so that was one of my bucket lists and take our, our children with us to go back to, to Korea and kind of see where I was, um, you know, where my orphanage was, where I was kind of, you know, country that I was born. So I was able, I was lucky, I was able to do that. And that was really one of my bucket list things. You watch the bills and the Sabres play all the time and all the other different professional teams. But how does that compare to watching your daughter, Jessie, play professional tennis? Uh, I can handle the team sport much better than the individual sport. <laughs> so it is, um, like I said, I get anxious between a game, but like, Listen, when we're, you know, talking football, hockey, lacrosse, whatever, it's a team sport. So you can always point to something maybe, you know, the defense didn't play well or this guy had an off night or, or the competition, whatever. But when it's tennis, it's like, and it's your daughter and she's the only one on the court. Like, I can't, I can't blame anything. I can't just, you know, excuse one thing or another. Like, it's solely just her. So it's, it's really anxious. I have a hard time watching. All right, let's talk about our hidden talents. They're obviously hidden deep down, because some would argue not a whole lot of talent. But you know what? I can actually do the yoga move crow. Like, I can hold myself up with just my hands on my knees and elbows. That sounds impressive and significantly painful also. Well, because if, if you mess it up, you land on your face. Exactly, so it, yeah. it could be bad. Uh, I'm actually pretty good with math, not super long multiplication to division, but when I was younger, my friends would, would get a calculator out and one guy would say, okay, 312 times 247, and they'd see if I get the number four, the guy could type it into the calculator. I, 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 think, okay. I think that's impressive. What do you got? In, you my pre talent? in my previous life, I was a bit of a singer. If anybody yeah. was at St. Leo's back in the day and came to the talent show, probably saw me drop a sick beat. It doesn't. <laughs> you look like you'd be in a boy band. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break. Coming up on Buffalo Kickoff Live, we're going to take a look at how the Bills defense stacks up against Lamar Jackson. Did a lot of success last year. We're going to dive deep into that. Stick around. We'll be right back. to be kidding me. For same day professional service, call Salino Plumbing, Heating and Cooling at 68 Flush.
this excited about the game. Slip and fall? Give Birkin a call. 855-FALL. Be compensated for injuries and pain and suffering. I'm attorney Robert Birkin. When someone fails to maintain the property and you're injured by a slip and fall, don't wait. Give me a call. If you are injured due to someone else's negligence, call Birkin. 855-FALL. Slip and fall is due to cracked sidewalks, holes in the ground, broken railings, broken steps, or snow and ice could cause serious injuries. Slip and fall? Give Birkin a call. 855-FALL. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Shatkin. Back in 1959, Mr. Wilson had a dream. He believed that the Buffalo Bills could be a winning team. The Shatkin family also believed. As season ticket holders since 1960, as a kid, I went to the games with my father and my brother, my uncle. We had a great time, and now I take my entire family to the games. Through the good times and not so good times, one thing has never changed. We as a community love our Buffalo Bills. We may not be able to fill the stadium right now, but there is one thing I'll bet on. As a community, we can come together as one and believe that this is the year. Let's go, Buffalo. We believe this is the year. Are you a Bills fan? Call 839-1700 today for your free consultation and let Dr. Todd Shack and restore your smile with mini dental implants. Hello, Buffalo. I'm Nora O'Donnell. Tune into the CBS Evening News at 6.30, right after News 4 at 6 with Don. Welcome back to Buffalo Kickoff Live. The Bills and the Ravens playoff game coming up tonight at 8.15. We've talked a little bit about the offense, a little bit about the defense. Let's touch on special teams really quickly. Andre Roberts in particular in the return game, they face a pretty tough challenge with the Ravens. Yeah, the Ravens are top 10 in the NFL with both coverage units, fourth covering punts, 10th covering kickoffs. And last week, Andre Roberts ran into some trouble. It's one of the reasons why the Bills had such poor first half field position. The Colts were an excellent kick cover team as well. So the Bills are going to have to go strength against strength. Buffalo has the number one kick return team in the NFL, but the Ravens probably will be up to the task. What do you think about it, Matt? I mean, to, to me, I side on the, the idea that, look, Andre Roberts has been really aggressive returning kicks all year. I think you stick with that. But do you think maybe he should think twice before he bringing it out of the end zone eight yards deep? Listen, to your point, what's going on in this building behind us, they know more about this than we do. So far be it for me to suggest something uh, that they should do differently. But you don't want to be in a situation this week where you're dealing with the field position woes that they were a week ago. Uh, another note, Daryl Johnson has been injured all week long. He hasn't practiced at all. He's listed as questionable. He's a big piece of these coverage teams. And if you are going to have to replace him with somebody else, if you're not as good in that department, you just got to play it safe because you want to get the ball in Josh Allen's hands and you don't want to do anything to take it away from him. The Bills defense did a really good job last year against Lamar Jackson. He only had 40 yards rushing. He did throw for three touchdowns, but he didn't beat him with his legs. Having that film from last year goes a long way this season. I was surprised this week how much the Bills talked about how much they valued last year's film. Because most of the time, if you ask a player, hey, you played this team last year, what do you think? Oh, different team, different roster. You know, it's almost like you're embarrassed to ask the question. Not this year. Jordan Poyer said the moment the Bills found out they were playing Baltimore, the first thing he did was go back to last year's film. Clearly, no matter what the Bills have personnel-wise, they think that they have a scheme and a strategy for dealing with this offense that worked last year and hopefully will work tonight. Let's hear from Bill's linebacker, Matt Milano. We just got to be silent tacklers. You know, a lot of other quarterbacks are just running up. They're going to slide. They're going to do one cut, and that's it. But with Lamar, you know, he's he's a very uh, shifty guy. So just being able to uh, being able to keep him contained is going to be uh, going to be the big, biggest challenge for us. Got to make a play. That's it. That's what it really comes down to. Just you making a play when it counts. You know, Bill's defensive end, Jerry Hughes, said containing Lamar Jackson's like trying to contain a bolt of electricity. He said you do not want it to escape. Stopping Lamar Jackson is easier said than done. 
Without a doubt. And we talk about last season and what worked well for this team. Jerry Hughes actually came out this week and said it's a different plan this time. And maybe they're playing a little bit of head games a little bit with Lamar. But the thing about Lamar is you, you can't be too predictable against him because that's when things go off, off course. And Matt Milano said it best this week. You have to make a play, but when you start trying to put a pin in exactly what it's going to be to stop him, that's when you get yourself into trouble and you lose. So they have to be reactive. They got to run to the ball and they have to tackle. I know it's so easy. We talk about this every week, but if you start letting Lamar Jackson run free, you're done. We already mentioned Jerry Hughes. Thad, defensive ends are very important in slowing down Lamar. Yeah, on the other side last year, Shaq Lawson was fantastic against the Ravens. Maybe the best defensive player on the field. Obviously, Shaq Lawson will be a part of this game. So now it's on Mario Addison, A.J. Epinesa. Both guys are, are good in different areas. Ep Epinesa has the athleticism as a younger guy. Addison certainly has the smarts. Can they raise their game this week? One other thing, Micah Hyde this week talked about the fact that Bills have to play fast. You know who plays fast? <clears throat> Veterans, guys who've been around the block. The Bills defense is full of them. I think that's the reason why they're confident this week. We are going to take a quick break. Coming up on Buffalo Kickoff Live, it is time for our players to watch. Stick around. We'll be right back. Now, your game day conditions presented by Belknap Heating and Cooling. All right, Bills fans, it's going to be a chilly and breezy one down in Orchard Park this evening. 8-15 kickoff, and right around that time, we're going to see a few spotty snow showers developing. I think most of this will stay south of Orchard Park, but we may see a few flakes passing through Bills Stadium from time to time. Very little, if any, accumulation shouldn't play a major role, but the breeze itself will certainly play a little bit of a role. So we'll see how it happens. Go Bills. Enjoy the game. Buffalo Kickoff Live is presented by Salino Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Community Health Centers of Buffalo, with four locations to serve your health care needs. Light up your new year with a top-rated Cadillac, or choose the most awarded automotive luxury brand for initial quality according to J.D. Power on 2020 models, or shine your brightest with an iconic Cadillac SUV or sedan, and make every drive a celebration. Current eligible lessees get this low mileage lease on this 2021 Cadillac XT5 for around $379 per month. Visit your local Cadillac dealer today. Okay, it looks like I just got a text here. I'm just looking at my text. They just pulled in, so I'm going to go out and then get Mike and Sarah, and we'll get them in the plane and head back to Buffalo. In Buffalo, unfortunately, his options were really bleak. Basically, they gave him maybe only a year once he was diagnosed. And luckily, there's organizations like this that can get you there. If we didn't do that, he might have only have had a year. Wings Flights of Hope needs your support. Please donate today. At Riverfront Auto Sales, here we grow again with Martin, Noah, and now Penelope. Our family is growing, and so is our dealership. We're looking to restock our inventory. If you have a vehicle you're looking to sell and it has four wheels, we're buying it. We need cars and we're paying cash. And Penelope is paying $400 over Kelly Blue Book. Welcome back to Buffalo Kickoff Live. It is time for our players to watch. I'll kick things off. My player to watch for tonight's game is running back Devin Singletary. Look, not having Zach Moss in the lineup, I believe actually is going to benefit Devin Singletary. He's not going to wonder, how do I fit in the game plan? When am I going to get into the game? There will, there, there's not going to be a choppiness to the flow of his carries. I'm not saying he's going to carry the ball 20 times by any means, but I do believe he could get 12 carries. And that's going to be a lot for him because if you go down and look through his stats the last six weeks, 12 carries would be a lot for him. I think it's addition by subtraction when it comes to Devin Singletary in this run game. You get Moss out of there. Devin Singletary is going to be able to get into the flow a little bit more for this Bills offense. That's why Devin Singletary is my player to watch. 
I'm going with Cole Beasley. And listen, a couple weeks ago when he suffered this knee injury against the Patriots, you know, this game was put in doubt. I mean, the playoffs were put in doubt. Whenever you're talking about a, a knee injury and a wide receiver, their effectiveness. But he watched in week 17 as the Bills went out and, and battered the Miami Dolphins. He said it tore him up inside. He wants to make plays. And I asked Josh Allen about the importance of Cole Beasley this week. And he said he's key, especially against a, t a team like Baltimore that wants to get after you, wants to bring pressure. He's that safety blanket. He can get open quickly. I think he can get a lot of targets in this game. My player to watch today is Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker who's probably been okay, maybe average at best the last few weeks. He's going to be stressed. This offense that Baltimore brings out really puts a lot of work and uh, stress, like I said, on the linebackers. Not only defending Lamar Jackson, does he have the ball? Does he not have the ball? Where is he going? But in the pass game, the best weapon the Ravens have is tight end Mark Andrews. That will probably be one of Edmonds' primary responsibilities. The Colts had a lot of success with tight ends last week. Edmonds needs to have a solid game for the Bills defense to be successful today. Now, free players to watch, of course, is not nearly enough. That's why we bring in Heather and Tim for more. Let's go back to the studio. Hey, Thad, you teed up TG over here perfectly because that is also his player to watch. Oh, players to watch. I thought we were doing hidden talents. Uh, I'll save that for later. Uh, so <laughs> Mark, <laughs> Mark Andrews is my player to watch today and for a lot of what Thad just said. Now, Mark Andrews has only two touchdowns in his past 10 games, and that doesn't sound very dangerous. But the Ravens have gone seven and three in that stretch, meaning they haven't really needed to use Mark Andrews. He's a pro bowler. He's young. He's dynamic. And with what the Bills were giving up last week against the Colts, as Heather mentioned earlier in the show, 14 catches, 136 yards, a touchdown and a two point conversion. That's a lot of production out of tight ends from the Colts last week. And Mark Andrews is capable of having a big game. Have to watch him. Yeah, we've seen all season long tight ends have some big games against the Bills. We heard earlier Matt's player to watch is Cole Beasley. I'm going with Bills wide receiver John Brown last week against the Colts. He had no catches on four targets. I'm looking for him to be a little bit more productive in this game, get more involved, especially if if the Ravens corners, if that secondary can slow down somehow, Stefan Diggs, I'm looking for John Brown to maybe lessen his load a little bit in this game. So look out uh, for John Brown later tonight. All right, before we close out this first half hour, let's get to our poll question once again. We're asking you, what's the key to shutting down this dynamic Ravens offense? Is it put a spy on Lamar Jackson, keep him in the pocket, or shut down the running game and force them to throw? We're going to talk about this, of course, more in our next half hour. You can vote online right now at WIBB.com, and we'll share the results for you. For you at the very end of the show. Well, that's going to do it for our first half hour of Buffalo Kickoff Live, but stay with us right here on Channel 4. We've got another 30 minutes coming your way, breaking down Bills Ravens in tonight's divisional round game. Thanks for watching. Live, presented by Salino Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Did you know Damon College specializes in programs that lead to 25 of the top 32 careers in Western New York? With undergraduate and graduate degrees that range from health professions and medical sciences to education, business, and liberal arts, Damon has the programs that lead to a job and a career in lucrative, growing fields. When life is filled with uncertainty and challenges, it's important to see a return on investment in your education. Visit damon.edu slash top jobs today to advance your education and your future. The Extreme Discount Mattress, Extreme Deal of the Day is this super plush pillow top mattress set. Compare elsewhere at $6.99 or more. Your Extreme Deal price is just $2.99. Call or go to ExtremeMattress.com for more Extreme Deals. Well, we sell mattresses for less, a lot less. After a year like no other, it's time to start fresh in 2021 with a no down payment lease from Paddock Chevrolet. Take on the new year in the all new Trailblazer starting at just $179 per month. No down payment, just $179 per month. Or drive off in a new Trax, no down payment, just $139 per month. Start the year off right with a new SUV, no down payment, great financing options, and same day delivery. Shop online at paddockchevrolet.com or come in and see us. Paddock Chevrolet with you for the extra mile. 
The High Impact Player of the Game is brought to you by the Lockport Outdoor Store. Harry the Hammer here. We've all been spending more time at home, and we spend the most time in the kitchen. House crafters can design and build a beautiful new kitchen that you'll enjoy for years to come. I'm going to enjoy it right now. Call 646-NAIL. Buffalo Kickoff Live. Welcome back to Buffalo Kickoff Live. Sal Capaccio, WGR 550, joining us now. Sal, the Bills, top to bottom, have one of the best wide receiver groups in the NFL. The Ravens, top to bottom, have one of the best defensive back groups in the NFL. That is going to be a matchup worth watching today. Yeah, and I don't know, though, if the Ravens have quite enough cornerbacks to match up with what the Bills can do sideline to sideline to spread their wide receivers out. Of course, they have Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Peters and Jimmy Smith. But you know what? The Bills can go more than three deep. Beyond Stephon Diggs and John Brown, Cole Beasley in the slot, you still have Gabriel Davis, of course, that they can throw out there. Isaiah McKenzie can be a matchup for some people. Last year, when these two teams played, the Bills spread the field sideline to sideline. They used Devin Singletary in a receiver role. He had eight targets. Those may go to Gabriel Davis today, which I think could be an interesting matchup and something the Bills can exploit. The Bills have faced good cornerbacks all season long. They have not found a way to slow down Stephon Diggs. We'll see if the Ravens have better luck. Here's what the Bills wideout had to say about those really talented group of Ravens defensive backs. Uh, he's been a hell of a player since KC. Uh, plays the ball well. He has hell of a ball skills. One of the, I'm not going to say few corners, because now they, they got a lot of them with ball skills, but he's one of the few that tries the ball extremely well. He gets his hand on the ball. And then Marlon Humphrey is also a hell of a player, a guy that's been a, he's. He's so active around the ball. It's something that we've never seen as far as like being able to punch the ball out and strip the ball out. They got the most turnovers as far as any defense as far as like forced fumble and something that you that you not only write down, but something you take uh you take take pretty serious. So those guys, not only are they great corners, but they're guys that's getting the ball out, creating creating havoc for the defense and some playmakers. So it's definitely gonna be a challenge for them. Thad, we've talked a lot about the Ravens secondary, rightfully so, very talented, but They've got some playmakers up front as well. Yeah, we, we really kind of glossed over how good this front seven can be. Remember, Calais Campbell is on this team. Remember, Yannick Ngakwe. Bills fans might know him from such programs as the playoff loss in Jacksonville three years ago. They can get after the quarterback just with winning one-on-ones. And the best player this year has been Matthew Judon. He's leading the Ravens in sacks with six and tackles for a loss. So they have players that don't need to blitz. They don't need the scheme to get to the quarterback and wreak havoc. They can do it on their own. Yeah. The Ravens have a very aggressive defense. They come after the quarterback more than any other team in the league. Yeah, they do that in the front seven. And what they do on the back end is they basically get in your face. Those corners, they're very long. They're aggressive all across the board. And in fact, they're so aggressive on defense, they're basically baiting and, and daring officials to throw flags because they get their hands on these guys all day long. So any spot you look at on the field, they're very aggressive. They get after the quarterback. They get in your face in the secondary. The Bills know they're up against a team that's going to want to play a physical game tonight. And this Ravens team, Josh, they have the fifth most penalties in the NFL. So if we catch an official tonight or an officiating crew that wants to call this game tight, it's probably going to become a problem for the Ravens and certainly to an advantage to the Bills. Doesn't even cover the fact that if this field gets slick weather-wise for whatever reason, it might be near impossible for the Ravens to do what they do best. Ravens defensive coordinator Wink Martindale during the week said, look, here's the deal. We bring pressure. It's what we do. We're going to do it again on Saturday night. They brought pressure 44% of the plays this season, by far the most in the NFL. If you're a Bills fan, though, you welcome it because guess what? Josh Allen has been as good as any quarterback against pressure this season. All right, we are going to send it back to the studio now. Heather and Tim with more. You know, Josh, going off of how Josh Allen has been when he's faced with pressure, he has a league-high 19 touchdown passes against pressure there so really in this game if the Ravens decide to keep doing what they do on defense and that's bring the heat blitz Josh Allen can escape that and a big reason is because of his mobility his ability to shake off tackles to break them to get outside the pocket and even when he is scrambling make those big throws downfield I think a lot of people would think of Josh Allen especially over the last two seasons he's really evolved in this regard 
He's getting blitzed. Oh, look out. This guy's going to run. Mm -hmm. And he's going to run, and he can make a game-breaking play. He doesn't do that as much. He, d he scrambles and throws. Think of all those toe-tapping sideline catches that have been made by Stephon Diggs, Gabriel Davis, Cole Beasley. He finds these guys off the scramble. So blitzing Josh Allen doesn't necessarily make him run. He can still get you with the pass. But Baltimore Ravens have a lot of guys who've gotten after quarterbacks this year. Matthew Judon has 21 quarterback hits this year. And you may be wondering, well, is that a lot? Jerry Hughes led the Bills with 11. Uh, and OK, so you may be wondering, all right, well, what about Ma beyond Matthew Judon? The Ravens have five guys on the roster who've had at least 10 quarterback hits this year. So that's about what Jerry Hughes led the Bills with. And really, this Bills offensive line is going to have to play a lot better than it did against the Colts. You saw so many times that Allen had pressure in his face, didn't have much time to throw there. They've got to be a lot stronger in that aspect of the game this, to, tonight. With, without question. I think Mitch Morse did not have a very good game last week. And I... I the Colts don't bring a lot of trickery, or, or they, they, they don't historically, and they didn't last week. Not a lot of blitzing. They pretty much just send their four guys, and that's it. The Bills are going to have to keep their eyes peeled for guys coming from all different ways, and that's what the Baltimore Ravens are known for. And it's also, too, ball security is going to be a huge point of emphasis in this game. I mean, really, every game it should be for any offense, but especially against this Ravens defense that forces so many fumbles. They led the league in forced fumbles. They recovered 12 of those. You saw last week if Daryl Williams... <laughs> just going to say. If Daryl Williams doesn't recover that fumble, we're probably not here we're having not, yeah. this show right now. <laughs> right. Somebody else is talking about... Uh, the Colts matchup this weekend. Yeah, so that's got to be a, a point of emphasis and really at the top of the list when it comes to facing these dynamic fumble forcing machines when it comes to the Ravens corners there. You talk about Marcus Peters and Marlon Humphrey. We've talked about them a little bit in the show so far. Um, they're just absolute game changers. And this is where Josh Allen's going to have to keep his composure. We don't have to go back too far to remember him doing some really crazy things. Well, it's a year ago, roughly now. It was against the Houston Texans. Things were going very well for Josh Allen throughout the regular season. Uh, thing, you know, there was uh, uh, a lot of rhythm with the offense. They had the big lead going into the third quarter against the Texans in the playoffs last year. And then... Things got a little sideways, and there goes a fumble, and there goes a lateral, and... He can't get into the mode of Josh Allen hero ball that we see. Not against this see. Baltimore Ravens defense, and that's it, for sure. And even Cole Beasley earlier this week talked about how, you know, they can't do too much after a catch because sometimes that leads to mistakes. All right, before we take a quick break, let's get to this week's poll question. What is the key to shutting down this Ravens offense? Is it put a spy on Lamar Jackson, keep him in the pocket, or shutting down the running game and forcing them to throw? You can head to WIDB.com to vote and we'll have the results for you at the very end of the show. Well, when we come back, as always, as we do every week, we're catching up with Bills left tackle Deion Dawkins. We were just talking about the Bills offensive line. Let's hear what he has to say about this matchup with the Ravens. That's coming up next in the Big Snow. Josh Allen has put together the greatest season by a Bills quarterback in franchise history. To commemorate his single-season touchdown and passing yards records, Big Time Bats is releasing this official Josh Allen art football. The full-size football has the reproduced original artwork of famed sports artist Dennis Schrage and is limited to 5,000 footballs. You can purchase this ball for $99.95 plus shipping and also see our Bills Division Champs Duke Ball at BigTimeBats.com. Want a dream backyard this summer? Installation dates are filling fast. Use Gary's free layaway program and you can be relaxing in your new swimming pool or jacuzzi hot tub this summer. Get in line now with free layaway or be left out in the cold. Gary's got it. Come and get it. Gary's got it. Come and get it. Get happy at Gary Pools and Leisure. Hurt in a car? Call William Matar. 444-4444. When it's time to give your home or business a fresh look, think Darling, Darling Paint and Restorations. Book now before the end of the month and take advantage of our lowest prices of the year. If it looks good, it's Darling. Call today for a free estimate, 656-8802, or visit us at darlingpaint.com. 
Can the Bills make it back-to-back postseason wins here at home? If they do, it means a return trip to the AFC Championship. Should be a lot of fun. Buffalo Kickoff Live, presented by Salino Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling, today at 11 on Channel 4. Light up your new year with a top-rated Cadillac or choose the most awarded automotive luxury brand for initial quality according to J.D. Power on 2020 models or shine your brightest with an iconic Cadillac SUV or sedan and make every drive a celebration. Current eligible lessees get this low mileage lease on this 2021 Cadillac XT5 for around $379 per month. Visit your local Cadillac dealer today. Welcome back to Buffalo Kickoff Live. Each and every week we catch up with Bill's starting left tackle Deion Dawkins. It is time for the Big Snow. Watching the team, you know, as you guys kind of get ready for the last couple of games of the regular season and, and the postseason, you guys have found a way to stay loose. Uh, you know, I think that that's kind of the mentality on this team, isn't it? I think that the, the pressure doesn't seem to get to you guys, does it? No, not really. Um, McDermott has done a great job with allowing us to be ourself and allowing us to be comfortable in who we are. Like, uh, like that video last week where everybody was dancing around and just having as much fun as possible. Like that's us every day. And uh, but McDermott just has been doing a great job of allowing us to be that way you know, where we can be loose, but also be locked in and serious at the same time. Yeah, that's got to be a fine line. I don't want you to speak for Sean, but that's got to be a fine line for a head coach to walk. That's uh, pretty tricky because you want guys to be themselves, but you also don't want a situation where, like they had in the Steelers, where you say something about another team and boom, it goes right on the bulletin board, right? We all know McDermott's rules and how he is, and uh, I – I think that McDermott does a great job with trusting us and trusting his players and treating us uh, like men, like we are. And um, I strongly believe with the team that we have, nobody would disrespect or overstep uh, in a situation where we all know what we can and shouldn't be doing, uh, even though you really could do anything, but we all understand that what we can and cannot do, basically. And uh, it's all our respect thing. He and respects all of us, and we and respect him. The um, Ravens defense gets after it. Yeah. Uh, their defensive coordinator, Wink Martindale, said this week, he goes, look, they know we're going to bring pressure. We're That's who we are. Um, uh, how much do you guys have to really be in sync and dialed in for this one? Well, it's just like every week, uh, Josh. Like, honestly, it's – it's nothing crazy like uh like yes they bring pressure that's what and they do but it's football like if they like it's just we just got we just have to be aware of blocking it more so than a usual game and uh as long as we keep communicating and just doing what we do well we're gonna be like like perfectly fine like josh enjoys pressure and we'll be honest how how much of a sense do you have as far as knowing that you're two wins from a Super Bowl? I mean, I don't care about that. We don't care about none of that. Josh, this is the farthest that I've ever gone, as we ever gone, as a team, as individuals, as whatever you want to see it. We don't we ain't looking at none of that Super Bowl stuff. The Super Bowl is weeks away. As of right now, man, I mean like we see what like where we're going after. We're on the the road. This is the path. But besides that, no, we are focused on this next playoff game, this next day, to prep to and prepare, and that's it. Always good catching up with Deion Dawkins. Let's talk about the Bills running back group. It'll look a little bit different for this one. Of course, no Zach Moss. Possibly see a little more of Devin Singletary. We're gonna see TJ Yeldon. Antonio Williams. 
Will he be active? How does that play out? Well, here's the thing. So exactly seven hours from right now, 6.45 p.m., we're going to get the inactive list. We're going to know if Antonio Williams is active. The Bills did elevate him from the practice squad, but guys, I went back and looked. The Bills have not had four running backs active for any game this season, so I'd be kind of surprised if Antonio Williams was active. I think he's there for insurance in case something happens in pregame warm-ups, but certainly you never know. The playoffs, hey, maybe something different, a game plan. You want a little bit more beef back there, and that we know that Antonio Williams, the way he ran in Week 17 against the Miami Dolphins, maybe he's earned that right. Maybe, but to me, if, if you're heading into the divisional playoffs and you're leaning on Antonio Williams, th there are some serious concerns. Thad, the Bills offensive line has looked really good the last month and a half. We talked a lot about Josh Allen's numbers against the Blitz, but a lot of that credit goes to the guys up front. Many of those Blitz success stories are because Josh Allen drops back and the Blitz gets picked up. Makes it easier for a quarterback for sure. I think the consistency has been a big deal lately. The same five for the last few weeks. Now, if you want information on the Ravens, boy, we got a guy for you coming up next. Jeff Zrebeck from the Athletic Baltimore. He was overflowing with knowledge, including we talked about how much the playoff win meant to the Bills last week. Well, the Ravens got a pretty big one themselves. How does that change Baltimore's outlook? That when Buffalo Kickoff Live returns after this. Here at River Far Auto Sales, we've been approving people for over four generations. Good credit, bad credit, no credit, no problem. Here at River Far Auto Sales, we have 100% guaranteed credit approval. Hey, Martin, what do you think of this deal? I'm approving everybody, Papa, because I need new school supplies. And now we've made it even easier to find the one that's right for you. Here at River Farm Auto Sales, Penelope's throwing in $400 towards a gas car. So come out and see us over at River Farm Auto Sales today. Wow! <laughs> furnace for the table? You've got to be kidding me. For same day professional service, call Salino Plumbing, Heating and Cooling at 68 Flush. Just excited about the game. Hi, I'm Bob Gugino from Bison Automotive, your auto care expert. Winter's almost here and none of us really want to deal with it. Is your car ready? Tires can be the most important thing when it comes to the safety and reliability of your vehicle in winter driving. They don't have at least 430 seconds of tread on them, they're probably not going to work very well in the winter. What worked in the summer surely is not going to work in the snow. Don't get stuck out in the cold. So stop by, give us a call, or go to bisonautomotive.com to make an appointment. That's Bison Automotive. Your auto care expert. Here's to new beginnings. Cheers. See if we can't shake things up. Showtime. Watch Sunday on CBS or stream anytime. Josh Allen threw for over 300 yards and two touchdowns. He also ran for a score. The Bills quarterback is this week's high impact player. Brought to you by the Lockport Outdoor Store, specializing in high impact footwear and apparel. Lockport Outdoor Store, high impact footwear for when you're going to work. Timberland Pro, Carolina, Red Wing Work Shoes, and all the brands you love to get the job done. Lockport. Welcome back to Buffalo Kickoff Live. Every week we get some inside intel from the other sideline. Yeah, this Baltimore Ravens offense has been a lot better lately. I think a lot of people point to the schedule. Well, I talked to Jeff Zrebeck from the Athletic Baltimore. He had a great explanation about a change in philosophy. It's a part of this week's trip behind enemy lines. Team lately has come under some fire, and especially under Lamar Jackson, for not having playoff success. So how big was that win last weekend over Tennessee? Yeah, you know, you could tell how much it meant to them. Um, one, he just, you know, people were tired of the the whole narrative, especially that, you know, Jackson's their leader. He's the face of their franchise. And yet all everyone would say is, you know, he can't win a playoff game. He can't win a big game. Uh, so I, I think that meant a lot uh, to kind of put that behind him. You know, the lack of playoff success, especially after how disappointing last season was when they kind of rolled through everything. And, and then, you know, for lack of a better word, you know, Marlon Humphrey said it choked uh, on their home field. I think it meant a lot for them to get that playoff win to kind of get rolling a little bit. You mentioned how good the offense and Jackson was last year MVP season. 
This year, it seemed like midseason, the offense struggled a little bit and then maybe found their footing late. Maybe not so much against Tennessee, but can you talk about what happened when it comes to this offense and why things kind of turned around late in the season? Yeah, you know what? I think they, it, it sounds simplistic, but I think they got back to their identity. You know, if you watched them earlier in the season, it just looked, uh, you know, to us like they were trying to be something they weren't. You know, they wanted to prove to everybody that they can win by passing more, that Jackson can win from the pocket. It just seems like they were, you know, mixed between what they wanted to be and what they should be. Uh, and, you know, it kind of when, when Lamar Jackson got back from the COVID list, it kind of simply simplified everything for them. They had no margin of error. You know, they pretty much had to win out to make the playoffs. And they just got back to being who they are. And I, I think that was the biggest change. You talk about the Ravens getting back to who they are offensively. Defensively, this is an attacking man yeah. scheme. And last year, this defense really challenged Josh Allen, six sacks, couple forced fumbles. This year, how much concern is that scheme when Allen is much more adept at beating a team through the air? Yeah, you know, it, it's the old, you know, you know, you want to be true to yourself and true to who you are, but you also have to worry about and adjust to, to the other team and the other side and what they've done really well this year. Bills are a completely different team. They're a completely different offense. Uh, they have Stefan Diggs, obviously, and Josh Allen just playing at a decent level. So I think it's going to be interesting to decide uh, to see how much Wink Martindale wants to blitz. They blitz more than any other team in the NFL this year. That's his makeup. He loves blitzing. I don't think we'll see as blitz heavy as an approach just with how successful uh, Josh Allen has been against the blitz this year. And that's a credit to him. Jeff Drebeck from the Athletic Baltimore. Thank you very much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Coming up on Buffalo Kickoff Live, it is time for our keys to the game and predictions. Stick around. We'll be right back. We salute the American farmer, grocer, and truck driver who work to keep our communities fed. With their service, we're stronger together. And we're stronger, stronger together. We rise up in a time of need. We're local strong and stand with our community. Buffalo Kickoff Live is presented by Salino Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. First three months, we saved forty-one hundred dollars. Car Shield saved me over six thousand dollars in engine repairs. If your car is out of warranty, you need to call Car Shield before an expensive breakdown. An engine, transmission, or computer system breakdown could cost you thousands of dollars, but not with Car Shield, America's number one car protection provider. Car Shield saved us four thousand dollars. They put a transmission in it and a motor. Who does that? Car Shield makes sure you don't have to pay for expensive car repairs. Car Shield covers most makes and models from 5,000 to 150,000 miles. We saved over $6,000 on a complete engine rebuild of our truck. It's like having a suit of armor around my car. You'll also receive at no extra cost roadside assistance, towing services, and rental coverage. If your car's out of warranty, believe me, you want to have caution. Call now for a free and instant protection plan quote. Call 800-213-0458, 800-213-0458. Get your best night's sleep during the MLK Holiday Event at Metro Mattress. Take home a Sealy Plush starting at $599 or a Sealy Cushion Firm starting at $649. Get $300 in gifts with purchase on top-selling luxury brands, including Tempur-Pedic and Chatham and Wells mattress sets. Experience the comfort of spring air back supporter sets and get a bed bundle with pillows, sheet set, and comforter. Save online, in-store, or over the phone. Welcome back to Buffalo Kickoff Live. Before we get to our keys to the game and predictions, we want to get to our poll question results now. It's centered around the Ravens offense. We asked you what's the key to shutting down that unit. Put a spy on Lamar Jackson, keep him in the pocket, or shut down the running game, force them to throw. 62% of you are going with that last option. And Tim, we've been talking about it all show, and I have to agree 
I'm agreeing with that. Forcing the Ravens to throw if the end result is the ball actually leaves Lamar Jackson's hand with a pass. So many times when the Ravens are throwing, Lamar Jackson's still running. And yeah. that's where things get dangerous. So on that note, let's get to our keys to the game because my key to the game is containing him. There I want to see the Bills. Look at that. Look at how effective he can be there. I want to see I want to see them keep him in the pocket and force him to throw there because as Tim just mentioned and we got to see some of that too. The Bills need to get to him. I want to see them keep him in there, force him to throw and not be able to scramble and on the run make some explosive plays with his arm when he's doing that. I think it's going to be a close one. I'm going Bills 28 24. What do you got TG? Well I was just talking about how dangerous Lamar Jackson is. Hey. Bill's got a guy like that too. Run Josh run. That is my key to the game. I think that when Josh Allen is allowed to go ahead and take off whenever he wants the Bills win to that uh, to that point when Josh Allen runs nine or more times over his three years as an NFL quarterback the Bills are 13 and two including last week's win against the Indianapolis Colts. I think that it's all bets are off. You don't have to worry about protecting your quarterback let him run as much as he wants in the postseason. That's why I'm picking the Bills 31 27 Josh what do you got. Well my key to the game is going to be the matchup of the kickers. That's right because we have now filled two hours of pregame shows. So this is what we've reached. You know look Justin Tucker is arguably a Hall of Fame talent right. He has been so money his entire career of course. Tyler Bass has been incredible this season. Tyler Bass last missed a field goal. The Seattle Seahawks game that was two months ago. Justin Tucker has missed three of his last 12 field goals. I, this is going to be a tight game and those field goals are going to be crucial. I think the Bills pick up the win. 27 24 is the final. You know the Bills want to make sure they can force the Ravens into throwing the ball. They want to have them get out of their comfort zone of running and one of the ways to do that win on first and second down create third and long. If they do that they're going to have to force the Ravens and Lamar Jackson to pass and I think the Bills are going to sell out on first and second down to stop that run guys. I like odd scores in situations like this sometimes maybe a two point conversion somewhere like that. That's why I'm picking the Buffalo Bills to win 24 22 and go to the AFC Championship game for the sixth time in their franchise history. If the Bills execute Sal's key, they'll be pretty good on my key too. That's to win on third down. Ravens are the NFL's best third down team overall. Fourth on offense, second on defense. You win on third down in this game, you're moving towards your philosophical victory in this game. If the Bills are winning on third down, extending drives, they're probably scoring points. They've got a lead that's a problem for Baltimore. The Ravens convert on third down. They're going on long time consuming drives, keeping Josh Allen off the field. I don't think that happens. Give me the better passing game. The Bills get the win 24 to 19. There it is. Cautiously optimistic if you're a Bills fan. The Bills and the Ravens tonight at 815. One win away from punching their ticket to the AFC championship game for Thad for Sal for Heather Tim Matt Brino. I'm Josh Reed. Thanks for watching Buffalo kickoff live.